Welcome again to Beer in Canada. I'm Chris Talbot. I'm Sean Talbot. And I'm Raul Chan. And today's beer, we are leaving Quebec. We're done with the Boreal for now. And we're going to our hometown. Well, my, the town that we grew up in, because not my hometown and not your hometown. So let's do it. From Pickering, Ontario, hometown pride, we have County Durham Signature Ale. County Durham. Now, uh, this beer is brewed in Canada. Brewed in Pickering. Pickering. <laughs> There's no labels. The first time I came across this beer was in the beer store, where we were looking at beer, and I looked at this County Durham, and I noticed that it was created, or made, in Pickering. So we had to buy it. Sounds like my story, too. Same thing. There's a beer brewed in Pickering? Are you kidding? I gotta pick this up. Let's get it. And so we got it. And so this is County Durham. Now, this is considered, uh, it's a signature ale, so it is an ale. And I had to look it up, because County Durham doesn't really talk much about what style it fits. But on ratebeer.com, that'd be ratebeer.com, they classify it as an English pale ale. Okay. English pale ale. Pale ales tend to be a little hoppy, but not really, really hoppy, but definitely hoppy. Mm -hmm. Uh, they can range in color. They can be pale in color in terms of uh, golden or yellow color, and, but they can also be an amber color, you know? Anything from up to like a mid to dark amber. But uh, let's, uh, let's give it a try. I have actually, before this, I never even knew the style because it's just, I never looked it up and there's no information whatsoever on the bottle. And even though these are Swiss bottles, I'm going to Frank Cabernet. So, gentlemen, present glasses. <laughs> it's much cooler to pop it open that way. It Definitely. is. And so, having a beer in your hometown, let's call it Pickering, our hometown. Pickering. Pickering. I thought it was pretty cool. Because a lot of little towns have them. Alora has them. Barry. Um, Toronto. Yeah. Toronto. Toronto. I make good Toronto beers. There's Pale Street. Pale Street. Right here. Here. So this is a signature pale, well, a signature ale, but as Chris says, what they call it. It's a pale ale. English style pale ale. So I, I would call this kind of a light amber color, maybe mid it, maybe kind of a mid level amber color. Mid, yeah. We got a decent little head on it. It is, I believe, 5% alcohol. Yep. Yeah. I love the smell of this stuff. I've, I've had this before, so. I'm, I'm a big Rich fan. So I have multi flavor. Yes. Well, we've all had this before, actually. We yes. should kind of clarify that. It's not a strong smell, though, really, compared to some of the other ales we've been trying, or beers we've been trying today. It's not as strong a smell as some of the other ones, but... I don't know. I think, I think it was pretty, fairly nice, good, strong, distinct. Not well strong, nice. overpowering. No. Strong is in multi. It's very multi. I mean, the girl like about it. Yes. It's got, yeah, the love citrus the seed, with the undertones of citrus, something sweet. I would say the caramel, it's something else. I think it's kind of a little bit of, I mean, I, I, I smell anise and licorice in a lot maybe of things. Maybe that's what the sweetness is. I think maybe in some of it there's just like a very, very, very mild hint of it. Mm -hmm. Could be. i got to find a better way to describe that, because licorice and anise is something you typically find more in stout porters rather than... But I, you know, I'd say it's got, an, it has a nice has a nice aromatic character. Yes. So let's dig in, boys. Cheers. Cheers. To Pickering. To Pickering. Mm. Ah, rich, malty flavors. Mm. Smooth, silky as we've had before. It's great mouth feel to it. It's not drying. Not like drying. Some of the other ones you've had to dry your tongue out. This Almost a knot. Biscuity mm -hmm. bite to it. Oh. It's not, yeah, okay, not overpowering. You drink it, it's there, and then it it goes. Now, from a pale ale style, I think it might be light on the hops. Like, yes. I, I think maybe even Hop School Illusion had much more uh, hop characteristic, I thought, than this. And this is actually meant to be a, an English pale ale. Yes. Again, according to rakebeer.com, I'm not really sure what Bruce Halstead over at, uh, at County Durham actually considers it as, but that, that's what they consider it as on rake beer. This, but I, yeah, there's really, it's more malty than, it's very malty than yeah. hops. And thankfully it does not have a bitter or a strong aftertaste. 
it's very refreshing actually. Mm -hmm. Not making the joke, it's made, it's brewed down from the power plant. There's no radio I know. Uh, again, this, I love this beer. We were previously talking, this would be one of my, one of my favorites. It would be in my top 20, not my top 10, but it's there. It's a beer that I would suggest. For normal wheat beers, this would probably be one of my, the nicer ones that I've had. Not being a strong beer drinker, this is very flavorful, has a nice taste to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I would recommend this to a lot of different people for trying. So strong beer drinker, as in strong beers or not a beer drinker usually? New beer drinker, I guess uh, would be a better term for not liking most of the beers that are hoppy. Mm -hmm. So in terms of style, I'm kind of curious how it actually you know, truly measures up, because I, I would say it probably is light on the hop. So if you're looking for a hoppier beer, this probably isn't the place to go. Maybe that's also why they don't broadcast it as a as an as a as a pale ale. Mm -hmm. Although it does fit some elements of the profile for sure, but it is it does seem light on the hops. I mean, how much of a hop aroma are you getting, or hop or a hop taste to it, or even the bitterness in the back of your throat? There's not much. It's the malt that's kind of standing there, which is from my thing. It is a I very nice like the bitterness, mm -hmm. the aftertaste. Mm -hmm. But style or not. I love this beer. This this is one of my go-to beers. When I go to the when I go to the into the liquor store, or the beer store, if I'm just looking for something that I really love, honestly, and it's not just the hometown pride thing. Bruce makes a great beer. It is a fantastic beer. It is one of mine that I enjoy buying. Or if you're going someplace where people aren't sure, I like bringing it and saying this is Pickering beer. And again, I, I it's hard to separate the the marketing, but there is no marketing. It's just. We came up, I, I guess, the same story. You stumble upon this beer, and you're like, ah, let's try it. Yeah, it's from Pickering. It's from... How good can it really be? Yeah, that's, and I was like hoping it would be good, and I was amazed. I was really yeah. happy that we have a fantastic I beer. Agree. So, bottom line, fantastic beer, great beer, not overpowering. It's a good, it's not a chugging beer, but... At this level of beer drinking, you're not looking for that beer just to get drunk. Mm -hmm. This is the beer you drink because you want the taste, you want the, the pleasure, the flavor, the experience, the pleasure, sure. <laughs> I don't know what they do to Toba Oh, that's staying in. Yeah, you know what's going on. Happens at Toba stays in Toba <laughs> I made it stay in the video. <laughs> oh. <laughs> The whole West End. Sean, final thoughts. <laughs> Sean, final thoughts. <laughs> this is definitely a beer that I would recommend for others to try. One of the best I've had. So, you would. Re I recommend you to try this. You have to take a stand. Oh, I love the beer. I recommend you to get it. Yes. Not to try. <laughs> I'll let other ones. Other beers, I would it. say, try it. Yeah, this would be like, get it. <laughs> I would say, I am a big fan. I would say, get it. I'll make my final comments very simple. Smooth, silky texture, great mouthfeel, very malty. If you're looking for a hoppy beer, it's not the thing to buy, but for a malty beer, buy it, drink it, love it. And that's our show. So thanks again for tuning in. Cheers. Cheers. Hi, you're so good. You need to start keeping a little bit for the end, bud. They're so good, County Durham. <laughs>